Good evening and welcome. Tonight you're here to, uh, to hear a great, uh, a great lecture. And for those of you sitting at home, also welcome. Welcome here. We're here tonight. We're at Grand Space, deep in here in the heart of Brooklyn, as a special guest of Alan Pratt, my good friend, who set up this amazing, very progressive, uh, alternative medicine healing space down here in Brooklyn. Um, you can look them up at grandspace.com. It's always worth looking there, and uh, we're always, it's always a great pleasure to come here. So tonight we're going to have a lecture, and the, the lecture is Create Immune System Power. The power. Now, the immune system is very different. It's not like a muscle. It's not like something that you can just take it and work it and make it stronger. And a lot of times we hear from a lot of people out there teaching us how to strengthen our immune system. Well, I'm going to tell you tonight, you can't strengthen your immune system, but you can make it more powerful. And what I'm going to, we're going to go through tonight is all the aspects of how to create that within the body. Now, first of all, what is the immune system? What is it? What, is we, what are we really discussing here? And we're really talking about the body's purification system. And it's sort of analogous to a, uh, a, take a big city, such as here in New York City, the sewage system, and how the sewage system is always removing a lot of waste from the city. You can imagine if the, the system by which the waste was to either stagnate or break down here in the city, very soon the city would become polluted. It would become toxic, and if it went on long enough, the city would die. Everybody would have to move out. And tonight we're going to look at that system within ourselves because we have the same system. And we're going to start this journey. This has been a journey for me. I've been learning this, I've been developing this over the last about four years, and you're going to see how this, all this knowledge has come together. And I've learned from a lot of different people along the way. And this journey really starts uh, back in about 1960, in the early 1960s, with a gentleman called Dr. Myerson. And he was the first person, he was a physician, he was a very prominent physician, and he was the first person really to discover the lymphatic system, the body's immune system. And he started the work and he looked into it and started thinking about it. But he really passed that information on to somebody called Guyton. He was another physician. And he was a big guy, Guyton. Guyton wrote a huge book on uh, physiology. In fact, it's the, the book that I use. I'm a licensed physical therapist. And when I was studying physical therapy, we used a textbook on physiology. And Guyton wrote that textbook. It's the textbook that is commonly used in all medical schools throughout the world. He's a very acclaimed physician. And Guyton took over this work. This the work was then taken over or passed down or looked at anew by a person called Dr. Samuel West. And he was really amazing and he took it to a new level. And we're going to discuss some of his work tonight. And through Dr. Samuel West, I came to learn this. So we're looking at something that is very new. It's something that has only come out, what we've known of perhaps in the last 40 years, and you're really hearing something that's really on the edge of healing and understanding how the body works. So let's look at Guyton, because Guyton did the most work, and he looked at the lymphatic system, and he came up with two states. And we're gonna use this diagram here. This diagram was developed by Dr. Samuel West, and in this, we begin to see what these two states are. He called them the dry state and the wet state. Now, at the top here, we have a blood vessel, moving blood. And at the bottom, we have the lymphatic system, pulling things away, the cleaning system. And what's happening is the blood is bringing everything the cell needs. It's bringing all the nutrients, the glucose, and the oxygen. Right? It's bringing that to the cell. The cell is utilizing the nutrients and the glucose and the oxygen, bringing it into the cell. In that metabolic process, it creates waste products, and those waste products are being carried away by the lymphatic system. And this is the way the system works. 
But Guyton went on to say something amazing about this dry state. 